All right, guys, what's going on? Uh, this is going to be really exciting. We're going to go through how to set up your own email course using Teachable. And what's really cool is that now you don't need any other software, any other plugins, any other tools to create your own email course. You can do it all right within Teachable using the new drip content feature, right? So drip content is really cool. What it allows you to do is basically say, look, here, sign up for my email course. And when you do, on day one, I'm gonna send you the first day of the email course. On day two, I might send you the second. Maybe on day five, I send you the third. Uh, it's completely up to you, completely flexible. And again, you can do it all within Teachable. So really, there's two things you need to do. There's really two parts of setting up an email course within Teachable. That is, now there's the first, which is you need a landing page for your email course, kind of a, a course homepage almost, where you can drive traffic to and let people sign up for your email course. And then there's the second part. The second part is where people, uh, it's just how you deliver the course, right? So you need to be able to give people the email course. You need to be able to actually deliver the lessons uh, when they're supposed to be delivered, dripped out over a certain period of time. Now, a lot of people have, you know, a five day email course or a 10 or 14 day email course. You can do it all from right within Teachable. I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually create the course, right? We'll, we'll handle the actual, you know, signing up for the course in a moment. But the first thing we gotta do is we need to actually set up our course, set up the content, and set it up so that it drips out and the emails are delivered to people when you want them to be delivered. So the first thing to do is we're gonna create a new course. So let's call it uh, our 10-day email course learn how to talk really loudly on the phone. Perfect. I put in an author. I'm going to create a subtitle here. Let's call it the step-by-step -step guide to talking way too loud. Whatever. All right, so our course is created. This is the start of our email course. Now, the way that drip works in Teachable is that every single section can be dripped out at different times. So the way we execute this is for every day of our email course, we're going to have a different section. For instance, if you have a seven day email course, we're going to have seven sections. Each section is going to include one lecture where the actual content of the email hangs out. So here's what that might look like. Let's say we have a three-day email course, okay? So the first section is gonna be day one section. Let's create another section. So day two section. And day three section. Now we're gonna have to create a lecture in each one of these sections. So here's what we're going to do. So this is where we actually have the content of the email. Now, if you think about it, an email course, you're delivered the content right up front when you actually receive the email, right? You open the email and ideally all the content's right there in the email. And that's how we're going to do things too. We're going to give people everything they want right in that email. However, if they want to consume it inside of your teachable school, they'll also be able to do that too. So in order to enable that, we're going to, let's call this the day one email content. And then we're going to actually add all the content right in here, right? That's where the content goes. So we'll go back, we'll publish this. And now we have our day one of email, right? That's all set up. Okay, the content's not there, but everything else is, is set up. So we gotta do the same thing for day two. We have to actually add the content. So here's what we're gonna do. We're going to call this day two email content, right? And that's this is what's going out to everybody on day two of your email course. Awesome, so now we'll publish and it's done. Perfect. 
Now let's go to day three. Again, this is where we're adding in the content. All right, let's publish. We'd add our text in here for all the content that we're gonna deliver in our email, just so that people can consume it on this site. So what we have now is we have an email course. What we have is three different sections. We have three different sections inside of our teachable course where people can come online and actually view the content that they're also getting in their email so that wherever they wanna consume it, they can consume it. But now what we need to do is actually set up the email so that the email goes out. You need to be able to put in the different email copy that you want people to receive in the actual email. What we just did there is we set up the part where, hey, if you wanna consume it on the site, you can consume it on the site. But now we need people to actually receive emails and we need them to receive emails according to our schedule. So here's how you do that. You're gonna go down, you're gonna use a drip feature. And on the drip feature, you're going to set your schedule for each of these sections. You're gonna tell Teachable, you're gonna say, hey, I want you to email everybody and give them all this content on this specific day, this amount of time after they've enrolled on the, in the course. So we're gonna set the schedule number one. And you know what? Normally what I like to do is for the first email, the first day of the email course, I'd like people to get it immediately. So I'm gonna say, look, this one published lecture, it's gonna drip zero days after a student enrolls. That basically means immediately, right now. Now, it doesn't technically mean immediately because what's gonna happen is, you know, we'll send out the emails normally once or twice a day. So it doesn't happen immediately, but it does happen at, let's say, 11 a.m. Eastern time or, or something like that. So now we're gonna set an email announcement. This is where we actually write the copy that goes out in our email. And then you have a subject here, and then you have all the content here. And you're gonna save your email announcement. Then you're gonna go ahead, you're gonna do the same thing here. But this time, let's say that we want our second day of email to go out on the second day after somebody signs up for the course. So what we're gonna do is we're going to choose the one day after the student enrolls, and we're gonna set an email announcement, right? We're gonna actually write the email. And now we have two days of the email course set up. And now what we're gonna do is, hey, maybe we have a third day. But you know what, maybe what we wanna do is give people two days to catch up on the first couple lectures. And we wanna send this out maybe on day three after somebody signs up. So maybe there's one day in between where they don't get anything. You can do that with Teachable. So here's how we'll do that. We choose three days after a student enrolls. And now we'll write the content in here. Perfect. So now what we've done is we've set up our email course. If somebody wants to sign up, they can sign up and be delivered the email course. Now, Teachable on the back end is set up to deliver the email course, but the thing is, is there is no place for you to sign up yet. So the way you do that is you're going to use the sales page editor. You're gonna create a sales page for your email course. You can see everything's already in here. All you do, this isn't a demo on how to use the sales page editor, but you can write everything. What's gonna happen is that somebody's going to click, somebody's going to enter their email, right? So let's say we want to capture an email address. What we're gonna do, and let's say we wanted to do it, I don't know, up here. Let's insert a new block. and we're gonna embed a form. So if you have uh, some type of other, of other, uh, I'm sorry, of other email marketing service, something like a MailChimp, an Aweber, a campaign monitor, get response, something, you can use that here to integrate you know, with your email service provider, a convert kit, you, know, you can use those types of integrations or you can just use the enroll button that we already have. And so I'm gonna suggest that for our purposes here, you just use the enroll button that we already have. And what's gonna happen, right now the course isn't open for enrollment, but if you want it to be open for enrollment, 
you can do that. You can do that. And so what you're going to do is you're going to go over to, let's call it the pricing. Okay, so you're going to go to pricing. You need to set your pricing. And for us, this is going to be free, right? We're going to have a free email course. And there it is. So let's preview the sales page for the course. And you now you can enroll in the course for free. So again, this normally would be beautifully designed because you'd go through the sales page editor and make everything look really pretty. It's going to look beautiful. And, uh, and then when you enroll, you're good to go. And uh, they can continue right into the course, you know, go to day one, see everything here. Um, but I'd suggest that you don't do that. What I would suggest is that you actually set up a thank you page. And instead, when you set up the thank you page, have them go and... Uh, take them to a, a little video from you saying like, hey, thanks so much for signing up uh, or thanks so much for uh, signing up. Here's what I suggest you do next while you wait for the first email to come or the first email is coming now. I think you might also like these articles I've written or this might also be helpful or if you like this email course, guess what? I also have this paid course. So just you know, keep them engaged because right when they decide to enroll in your email course, that's when they're most excited to hear more from you. That's when they're kind of, they have some momentum, right? They're, they're really excited and they're, they're hottest at that moment. So instead of taking them inside your Teachable course, I recommend delivering the entire email course through email. And then on this thank you page, bring them to a thank you page and just give them more, introduce yourself more, uh, do something personable, give them some more value on top of what they were already expecting. So if we go back, so we go back to our course, here it is. You can tell one person is enrolled. Now you can go down to the thank you page and you can actually create a new thank you page and just redirect to it. You can skip the thank you page. I wouldn't do that. Um, but what I would do is I'd just create a thank you page and I would redirect directly to it here instead of putting people inside your course. That way you can have total control over what the thank you page says. You can control the message and then you keep people on your schedule, right? Because if the email isn't going to come yet, you know, we want to give them time to to get that first email uh, before putting them in the course and letting them consume everything all at once. We don't want them to consume everything all at once. It's a 10-day email course or a, a five-day email course or whatever it is because you want them to consume the information over a period of time. So anyway, anyway guys, hope that helps. Uh, this is really, really exciting. It's very, very simple and straightforward to do within Teachable. So uh if you have any questions, certainly let us know in the comments. Uh, until then, I am really excited to see your, your email courses. So uh, take care.